My, uh, my usual game day routine would, um, it, normally it changes, you know, depending on where we are and, and what time the game is, but um, a normal routine would be, you know, a general sleep in and then um, have breakfast at about, you know, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and then, and then just, you know, maybe go for a, a light walk or just relax and then, um, you know, a bit of reading, watch a bit of TV, a bit of a stretch, lunch. Um, another stretch, jump in the pool, do what I can to really buy the time. Um, and then, yeah, obviously a couple of hours before we, we start heading to the stadium, I'll, I'll start strapping the body and, and really focusing in on what I have to do. Some of the best advice um, I've been given is, you know, a lot, I get a lot of advice from my old man, and, and especially coming up um, when I was younger through the ranks. Uh, you know, my old man was, was a, a crucial part and, uh, to my success. and. And I think some of the advice he passed on to me, um, you know, helped me get to where I am now. So, you know, any, anything from, you know, where I could uh, improve on the field, it also went on to, you know, off the field, being a good bloke and, and doing everything you can to make other people happy around you and, and making sure whatever you leave behind is, uh, is, is a, you know, a good, um, good reflection of yourself. That's a that's a good question. That one, um, yeah, probably the the most entertaining roommate uh, on tour would have to be Liam Gill. Um, you know, for obvious reasons, he's a young bloke, and you know, he really he, he's always in high spirits, and and he's got a lot of energy. So, um, for me personally, he always keeps me up and up and about, and and um, full of laughs. So. He's, uh, he's, a, he's an interesting character and he's, um, you can tell he still lives at home with his parents because he's a messy bloke. Uh, that's another good question. Um, a memorable moment for me, for the Wallabies, would be um, you know, the World Cup in 2011, my second year. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience um, playing against some of the best players in the, in, in the world and, and testing myself in that arena was something I'll never forget. And, Hopefully in the next two years I'll, I'll get to do that again. But you know, going through, going back through the games I've played, or, you know, there's many, many ups, um, many, many moments I'll never forget. And I guess always playing the, the All Blacks every year is something I really look forward to do, to doing, and and um, we're really striving to improve upon that that result in the end.